Okay, here's a quick experiment. Um, <clears throat> very quick and simple experiment. I have here a large toroidal uh, transformer with an intake of 220 volts and an output, generally speaking, of about 28 volts AC. And, and I have my, you can see the connectors here to my voltmeter are hooked up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you that now. So I'll turn this on. Here's the input fuse. Uh, there's a thigh resistor here, uh, or a heat resistor, I guess it uh, uh, depends. Anyway, it, it helps protect the uh, coil from surge. And uh, I'm going to turn that on, and we should see about 28 volts here on the voltmeter. So here goes the power. And uh, we're seeing about 28 volts. Okay, and that is charged. We've got high voltage house current on this end here. So we'll stay far away from that. And I'm going to turn that off. And now I'm going to move these. And what I did here, it's hard to see, is this is, I took some of this number 24 gauge wire. And I made 10 revolutions uh, evenly, as evenly as I could by hand uh, in about 30 degree uh, spaces around the toroid. And that's all, went just about all the way around uh, 10 loops. And this will help give me an idea based on the voltage here. Uh, it will tell me basically how many, well, what kind of voltage I get with 10 loops. And that will further tell me what I should have uh, based on voltage I might want to create. Should I really want to wind this thing up and add another tap on there, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and put these here on... This is basically just wire that I have just rolled onto this transformer. Just magnet wire. So hopefully it will do something if I strip those away enough. So those are now connected. And nothing is going to short. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on and we'll see uh, what we get. Okay, so we are getting now uh, 5 volts. A little over 5 volts for 10 turns. Now, I know there's a mathematical formula for this, but generally speaking, this means that I should get about 5-ish volts, maybe a little more, per 10 turns. So if I wanted 50 volts, I would need to make 100 turns on this uh, transformer. I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot. That would be a lot of turns, quite a bit. Um, but I will have to check the equations again because I honestly don't know if it's uh, even. There's going to be spacing. There's also going to be the fact that the more I wind it, the further away from the center uh, each winding will be. So, um, but right now that is basically I've got a little uh, an extra tap there, and if I add a few more windings, uh, I should potentially I could, for example, make a 6.3 volt uh, tap on there that I could use for uh, filaments. Uh, tube filaments if I wanted to. So uh, Anyway, simple experiment. Ten windings with magnet wire on a big toroidal giving me 5.3 volts.